Hello computer related design engineers. In this video we are going to talk about how to calculate the dihedral angle of a tetrahedron and a octahedron. First of all, let's see what is a tetrahedron. Tetrahedron have four faces, six edges and four vertices and it looks like this. Uh, let me show you a more interactive view. So let me show you a 3D view. So this is how a tetrahedron looks like. It has four faces, six edges and four vertices. And it is all made up of triangles. Now, each and every outer edge is equal. I've taken every side as a unit. So all the calculation that I'm going to do in this video is taken as uh, uh, is taken after taking the outer edge as a unit so let's take the base a b c so in that you can see that if i make a median all across it then that uh, then the o c is twice of o c dash that is a property of a triangle that a median divides uh, a triangle in 2 is to 1 ratio and uh, so first of all I have calculated uh, 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 first we know this okay then we use Pythagoras theorem to find out cc dash which will be uh, we can find that out after doing the Pythagoras the theorem you can see that i'm not going to do uh, go into so much detail as you already understand that much so okay uh, so you can see first i have taken this a c c dash a c c dash then that came out to be root 3 by 2 and uh, after doing that what we do is uh, Calculate CC dash. Then CC dash is root 3 by 2. Here it is. Okay. Then uh, cal we calculate OC dash. OC dash. Okay. Uh, we calculate OC dash by taking triangle AC dash O. Then we know that this is half of 60, 30 degree. And uh, equilateral triangle has 60 degree. So this is a 60 degree angle. So then we calculate. OC dash which came out to be root 3 by 6 okay now after doing that we see a p and c dash a c dash and p then that came out to be root 3 then we take c dash o and p O is the center of the base so now we uh, now we are going to calculate C dash O P then we are going to calculate the dihedral angle now the dihedral angle uh, you can see what I have done C O plus O C dash is equal to root 3 by 2 C O plus O C dash is equal to root 3 by 2. So C O came out to be 1 by root 3. Then we have taken simply the cos of theta to calculate the theta which is at which will be the dihedral angle. We already know C dash O and C dash P which is root 3 by 2 and C dash O is root 3 by 6. So taking the cos inverse of that we have find the dihedral angle to be 70.5287937 which is a dihedral angle and if you want to calculate the uh, angle between the edge and the face which will come out to be 54.7356102 okay in, the, in that for that we have to take the triangle c o and p c o and p Okay, 
Now we have calculated the dihedral angle. Now calculating the dihedral angle of an octahedron. And uh, octahedron looks like this. This is the octahedron. It has 12 faces. No, 8 faces. 8 faces. Let me see. It has 8 faces, 12 edges and 6 vertices. Um, this is how it looks. This is an interactive view of an octahedron. And let's calculate the dihedral angle. It's simple. Uh, we first of all we calculate O O dash. We know that E dash will be root three by two, and uh, B D is root two. As we know that uh, B C and A D C is one one, so it was simple. Then B O will be the half of it. Then after that we calculate B O and E B. O, O as the center and E. Wait. Yeah, B, O, E. Then we calculate the phi. Phi will be uh, the edge and the face angle, which came out to be 45 degree, um, which is not our dihedral angle. Dihedral angle will come out with the O dash, O and E. O dash, O dash will be here and O and E, so that triangle. So we know that we uh, find out that E O dash is uh, root three by two and O dash is half of that. So we can calculate the five, with, uh, the, sorry, not five, theta, which is the dihedral angle, which will be the cos inverse of uh, this O O dash and O E. So I have calculated which came out to be 54.7356132 which is the dihedral angle of the octahedron. In the next video I will try to calculate the angle of the icosahedron and dodecahedron if love we will see in the next video. So for now that this is how we calculate the dihedral angle of both tetrahedron and octahedron thank you for watching